to a new video. So we actually have a surfing competition going on behind me, but other than that, it is a beautiful day. That's actually pretty cool to watch. I'm pretty sure they're all young kids as well, which is really, uh, which is really cool to see the young ones down here getting into competitions. Um, I used to surf a couple of years ago for about four years, so it's really cool. We have a Hebrew cone down here. Looks all right, tiny fella. Cool. Our first black cone of the morning. That's what I call these guys anyway. Not bad. I'm starting to get used to these ones. These ones are actually pretty rare for me. But they're nice. This Drupe, this looks giant, but I'm pretty sure there's something live in it. Yeah, for sure. Check that out. This guy was upside down. No idea how he got upside down, but give him a hand. There you go, fella. Look at this, guys. We have a hairy triton. Oh, nice. It is super old. Holy moly. This one is well past gone. There is no saving this one, I'm going to say. But I will try and clean it up the best I can. Wow, it's got a hole and everything. And uh, chuck it in the giveaway box for you guys. Wow. That is rusty as... Oh, cool though. I like that. Giant cool. Hebrew down here. I'm gonna say it's live though. Yep, for sure. That is giant. Huh. Very cool. I'm not sure if these are poisonous, so comment down below if they are. I'm pretty sure they're not though. I'm like 50 50. No idea really. Guys, I've just come walking through here. As you can see, it's a straight funnel, and I think I see a giant metal trap. Check it out for me. I'm psyched to look at this already. Let's see if it's whole. Oh, look at the size of that. And it's empty. It's got some rocks. That's it. Yo. Check out the size of that. I've only ever found, I think, six ones about that long. And not very fat at all, but that is a giant. It's uh, got a couple of holes and it's missing the tip a little bit. But other than that, that's sick. I haven't found a winter trap in ages. About two weeks ago, I found two live ones here in exactly the same spot, uh, but never anything this size. Wow, giant precious wentil trap. Awesome, I gotta be careful with that. So I do see some holes there and on the side there, but that is awesome. Well, I guess I'm not finding an urchin today then. <laughs> I actually might still find an urchin, you never know. I still have this much beach to go back to. Um, yeah, I've had, well, really bad luck the last two days. I went yesterday morning, I came here, didn't find a thing. And then I went last night at Point Cartwright, didn't find a thing again, not even any live cool creatures. So it's really cool to finally get something good. I'm pretty stoked on that. Looks like we got a gem snakehead down here, but I'm gonna say it's live. No, it's not. Wow. Look at that though. Those uh, stripes on the bottom, absolutely beautiful. That's a really nice one. Another small clump, but I like it. I'm gonna point out every single uh, two cucumber that I find, and then at the end of the video, you guys have to guess how many I actually saw. Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber. Here's something we've never seen on the channel. This is a chitin. They are a shell. You can actually dry them out. Um, I don't know too much about them but they sort of live on the side of these rocks, just like these ones here. They're called a chitin. You guys probably know them. Um, I've never collected one. I don't really like them at all, to be honest. But I'm not sure if this one's alive or dead, so we're just gonna leave that there. And yeah, there. I think we might have a small wentil trap here. Maybe, nope, that's a trap, that's a serif. Dang. Look at this clam down here. This looks sick. It's connected. Wow, I can clean that up for sure. I call these Japanese clams because they're found in uh, Okinawa, in Japan a lot. I love them. Hold so on. yeah, as I was saying, I'm not sure on the exact name of these, but they are pretty rare for me to find here. Just needs a bit of a clean up, but they are sick. I call them either Japan clams or mountain clams because they look like they have mountains all over them. Very cool, I've never found one together like that. So that's not gonna survive. Uh, once we get home, but I can obviously glue it back together. So, that's sweet. I think we have another Hebrew down here, and I'm gonna say it's alive. And it's not live, wow. But it is a giant. 
It actually looks exactly the same as the one we found earlier. Oh, uh, kind of. But, oh, is that its stinger or something there? No, it's not. I'm actually just going to leave this because I'm really not sure. And I don't want to take home a live shell. So, we'll just leave that there and keep looking. Look at the size of this, buddy. Ah, where'd you go? It's empty by the way it's sitting. Wow, that's old. Is it empty? Yeah, it is. Just full of rock. Oh, it's broken. Dang. What do you guys think? Should I keep this for the giveaways? I don't think so. Comment down below and I'll have a think.